What is up, MTG Portal? We are here today to do another random booster pack series. So, let's turn the camera down and see what we get. For this episode of Random Boosters, we are going to be doing a random three pack set. And our uh, card in the front's not so epic. It's like the third one of these I have now in a row. It's another Genesis Hydra. Uh, we're going to be opening two of Shadows over Innistrad. And two of Oath of the Gatewatch. <coughs> I apologize. I've been fighting a cold <coughs> for the last week. And uh, it refuses to let go. So without further ado, let us start with... Let's go with this guy first. <coughs> oh. Oh, man. It's just absolutely horrible. It's cold. It's obnoxious. Oh. So, some good news. I am uh, officially on days now at Micron, which means I'll be able to start actually bringing you guys some more steady content here on the channel. Pretty excited about that opportunity. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and finally it's here. So, again, our promo is Genesis Hydra. Give everyone a moment to take a look there. Zone in a little bit if you guys want to read what he does. Alright. Put him right there. So same thing as normal. We're just going to go through the rares. If you guys would like to see the uh, comments and uncommons, feel free to let me know down below. And uh, we can make that happen. That's, that's not a problem. Wow, this is a... Uh, Interesting pack. So, <coughs> our rare is uh, Demonic Packs. For those who are not familiar with Demonic Packs, yeah, a second. There we go. Two colorless and two black horned enchantments. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, choose one that hasn't been chosen. So, Demonic Pack deals four damage to target creature or player, and you gain four life. Target opponent discards two cards, you draw two cards, and you lose the game. Uh, there is a combo to make this an actual feasible card to play. Um, it is a mythic, which is not too horribly bad, so always cool. And then we had a surprise. We actually have a foil rare. <coughs> we have a Hangback Walker. Uh, he's a double X for a 0-0. Zero, zero. Artifact Construct. Uh, Hangback Walker enters the battlefield with X-1-1 counters on it. When the Hangback Walker dies, put a 1 1 colorless Thopter Artifact creature token with flying out of the battlefield for each 1 1 counter on Hangback Walker. Um, you can pay a colorless tap and put a 1 1 counter on Hangback Walker. That's actually kind of a cool card. He might find a home in an EDH deck. It's very interesting. So we'll put those right over there to the side. And then, of course, we had a, uh, a mountain and a trash flip card. I was hoping for another Jace, but you know, that's okay. Our next pack is a Khan's Attack here. And that was Origins, by the way, I apologize. I didn't flash that pack. Uh, got in the habit of just ripping them right open. Oh my god! The power is great this evening. We pulled a Polluted Delta. Oh, that is amazing. Right out of a Khan's Attack here. For those who don't know what a Polluted Delta is, <coughs> you tap and pay a life. Sacrifice Polluted Delta, search your library for an island or swamp card, and put it onto the battlefield. Oh, that is epic. Very, very happy to pull that. Very excited to put that in my collection. I actually have the Polluted Delta Expedition. If you guys have gone through the archives of our videos, you'll see that pool. Um, I actually sold that for 250 something bucks. I regret doing it. I should have saved it, but uh, at the time it was a snap decision. Very cool to see another one, though. May not be an expedition, but I'm very excited to have one again. And we had an island and a trash card. Now we go down to uh, Fate Reforged. This has been a, a very crazy three pack. So, um,. We'll see if the, the power continues here in favor for us. Maybe we'll pull a planeswalker. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Alright. 
okay. Well, we're not we're not ending as powerful as expected, <coughs> but that's okay. Um, our rare was mob rule. Zoom in here real quick and get my camera to focus up for me. Maybe. There we go. So, mob rule is four colorless and two red. It's a sorcery. Choose one. You can gain control of all creatures with power four or greater until end of turn. Untapping those creatures, they gain haste until end of turn. Or you can gain control of all creatures with power 3 or less until end of turn, and they gain haste. Um, interesting card. I would rather just use um, Insurrection or Rise of the Dark Realms, to be honest with you. But um, still a cool card. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it'll find play somewhere. Uh, that just makes my night. Um, I'm going to tally all of the pricing on everything. Uh, so you'll you should see that uh, as I'm flipping the cards here. And uh, we'll see if we make our money back. I spent a total of 30, 30 bucks on uh, what you saw me start to open. So we'll do a recap at the very end, and uh, we'll see if we made our money back. And then, of course, we had a, another foil, and it's a Whisper of the Wilds. It's a little human shaman. It's a mana ramp card. Not too bad. Always good to have more mana ramp. Light him over to the foils. And... We had a Thorn of Falls and a Trash Guard. <coughs> I think we'll dive right into the Shadows of Ravenstrad. See what we get here. Alright, pack number one of Innistrad. Again, going straight to the rares. Oh, so awesome. Wanted one of these, but I finally got one. We got another dual land. We got a choked estuary. It is the blue black uh, equivalent to um, the dual lands, or uh, as we like to call them, reveal lands, is what I, I've seen them kind of going around as. Revealing an island or a swamp to bring into play untapped. Very freaking cool. That's going to go straight into my Thrax deck. Very excited about that. Um, and our flip card was... It's an uncommon there. Our Hermit of the Natter Knolls. Turns into a 3-5 uh, werewolf. Let's move right along to our second pack. This has been a insanely good uh, set of boosters. Like... Crazy good. <laughs> I want to know what that polluted delta is sitting at currently. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Like I said, this cold has been getting the best of me this week. Oh man, that is that's brutal. <laughs> and uh, wow, we pulled another cryptolith right. One of the most broken enchantments in all of magic, in my opinion. Uh, in current standard, I should say. One color is the green. Uh, creatures you control have tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Very freaking awesome card. Definitely going to be running one of these in my reanimate deck, just because it's ridiculously powerful. Uh, but our flip card was a uh, neglected heirloom. It's the artifacts that turns into a uh, additional equipment. And we had a forest and a zombie token, so always cool. All right, moment of truth, last two. Let's see what we get out of our oath. Maybe we can score an expedition. Wouldn't that be awesome? I've only ever pulled one expedition out of a booster pack. <clears throat> I've got one wild storm brewing up here. All right, our rare for this one was an Eldrazi mimic. This guy is evil, but uh, he's a necessary evil. I love him. <laughs> two colorless for a 2-1. Uh, whenever another colorless creature enters the battlefield, under your control you may change Eldrazi Mimic's base power and toughness to that creature's power and toughness to end a turn. Basically, as he does and says, he mimics other creatures. Again, he gets nasty quick. And then we had a uh, elemental token and a full arts mountain. Sadly not foiled. I need more foils, but hey. 
If you guys happen to have any of the uh, full art uh, foil lands that you're looking to sell or get rid of, go ahead and link me your TCG pages down below. Um, I'm working on making all my decks uh, foil full art lands, so I could potentially be interested in seeing what you have. Wow, man, tonight is the night of uh, dual lands. So we get another uh, duel. It's a Hissing Quagmire. This is the green and uh, black duel out of uh, Oath. Very cool. And we had a foil lead by example with support two. And a night ally token and a full art swamp. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And here at the very end of the video, you're going to see a recap on all of our rares, <coughs> excuse me, and our pricing. And we'll see if uh, we made what we got. Thank you again. If you guys haven't subscribed to MTG Portal, please do me a favor and smash the subscribe button down below. It helps out more than you know. Uh, give the videos a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the uh, random booster pack openings. Um, really psyched and kind of kind of shaking over that polluted delta. Uh, it's a very uh, very sweet pool. I think that alone probably paid for uh, all of this. So yeah, good stuff. Look for more coming soon. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care.